Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another full day of eating. I'm super excited to share all the high protein plant-based meals along with gluten-free high protein buns. I know you guys have been waiting for this recipe and I am super excited to share this with you. In terms of protein of these buns, they are not going to be as high in protein as my seitan buns were, but they are still pretty decent in my opinion. Each serving of bun will give you approximately 11 grams of protein, so that can really help you boost up your overall protein intake as a vegan. So I'm super excited for you guys to try out these buns. I have tested many, many recipes to get these buns high in protein and still tasting pretty good. Honestly, I probably went through five or six different variations of these buns. Some of them were okay. Some of them were pure garbage. I wish I had recorded those for you guys to show you how they turned out. They were just horrendous. Um, the biggest challenge with these gluten-free buns were that uh, I wanted to keep them high in protein, but also uh, tasting good while keeping them gluten-free. So it was quite challenging to come up with different flour combinations to achieve that. In one of my recipe, I tried pea protein along with oat flour. I usually hate wasting food. And honestly, I couldn't eat those buns. <laughs> so I had to throw them in the garbage. So after trying out many different combinations, this is the best I could come up with. So I hope you will give these ones a try. My husband and kids really enjoyed them. Actually, they were eating them with the edamame and peas dip that I make. So if they are eating this, I'm pretty confident that they are pretty good. So I'm super excited to share these gluten-free buns. I know some of you are not able to eat gluten, so I am so excited that you will be able to incorporate these into your plant-based meals and you can enjoy them this summer with some burgers or any other toppings you'd like to put on these. As always, I provide nutritional breakdown and calorie breakdowns of all of my meals at the end of each videos so if you're interested in that information please stick around till the end so those of you who are new to my channel I am Nisha I'm a fitness trainer and a mom of two I work full-time job and I am a part-time fitness trainer and I am extremely passionate about health and fitness I have helped over hundreds of women get lean decrease their overall body fat percentage, increase their muscle mass while feeling their healthiest and the strongest versions of themselves. And that's the reason why I created this channel to help you get fit as a vegan. So if you're looking to optimize your nutrition, add more high protein plant-based meals and increase some muscle mass, then consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it really helps grow my channel. And make sure you also hit that bell notification so that every time I upload a video like this one, you will be notified. So I don't want to take much of your time. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. For breakfast, I made overnight carrot oats. They were so simple and easy to make. I made them the night before. And if you guys know me by now, I love carrots. So adding some carrots to these oats were really tasty and it adds a nice crunch. And I like to add two scoops of my favorite vanilla protein powder. You can save 20% using my discount code. It will be in the description box below. And I added some soy milk to keep the protein intake high, blended everything. And then I added some Greek yogurt. I was finally able to get some Greek yogurt yogurt. I added about 60 grams of Greek yogurt. I just didn't realize when I was buying it that it was sweetened with sugar. So if you can get hold of sugar-free Greek yogurt, that would be ideal. And then I sprinkled some more carrots on top just to make it look pretty. Then I added some raisins and some walnuts. 
It was an easy breakfast. It's perfect when you don't have time to make a breakfast. You just make this the night before and you can enjoy it as your on the go breakfast. I hope you will give this one a try. All right, for lunch, I'm keeping it super simple. I made this wrap and for these wraps, you don't need to do any cooking. You just chop up whatever veggies you want to put in the wrap. And for my protein, I'm going to be adding tofu feta, which I absolutely love. It's so easy and you can prep it from the night before. I shared that recipe with you guys many, many times before. I will link it in the description box below. This is a cold wrap, so it's perfect to travel with on a hot summer day. And to give it more flavor, I'm going to be making my tzatziki sauce. I like to make tzatziki sauce with some tofu and mix of yogurt. I don't like the taste of yogurt 100%, so I like to mix in some um, extra firm tofu. Plus, it also adds um, more protein and the taste is pretty good. I will leave all the details in the description box below. Of course, you can adjust all the spices and flavors according to your preference. I made two versions of this wrap. One wrap is high in protein that has 10 grams of protein. That wrap tastes really good if you eat it right away but if you're going to be traveling with that wrap it's not ideal because it tends to get soggy. So I will show you a second version of this meal where I'm using Dempster whole grain wrap. That wrap is holds up really well with this sauce and it doesn't get as soggy of course you can go light with the sauce and then you can pack your sauce on the side if you don't like your wraps to be soggy so i'm going to be showing you both versions one version is obviously going to be higher in protein but it tends to get soggy if you're traveling with it and the second version is going to be slightly less in protein and the wrap holds up really well and it doesn't get soggy so I will leave it up to you guys which version you'd like to travel with or if you're going to be eating it right away then you can make the high protein uh, version of this wrap. I'm going to be adding 100 grams of tofu in these wraps so of course if you want to boost up your protein intake you can add extra tofu on the side in a bowl. That is what I did to meet my protein targets as you cannot fit lot of tofu in this wrap it tends to break so if you want to keep your protein intake high you will have to pack your extra um, tofu on the side in a container and this is the second version of the wrap in my opinion this wrap looks really good and it holds up pretty well as well so i will leave it up to you guys as to which wrap you will be trying as always all the details will be provided in the description box below For dessert, I made these vanilla ice cream with tofu. I have been craving this McDonald's McFlurry for a while, so I wanted to recreate that at home, but of course, vegan version. So I made some vanilla ice cream. I added some cashew to this to give it some creamy texture. And then next morning, I spinned it and I added some Oreo cookie as an add-on. If you have been craving McDonald's McFlurry, I highly recommend this ice cream. It turned out so creamy and delicious. The vanilla flavor was just on spot. 
and the creaminess was just so good i didn't have the whole thing of course it's just for visuals only i had about 80 grams of this serving and that was about 98 calories the entire container is about 538 calories it's still pretty low in calories and hits the spot i highly recommend this give this one a try you're going to love it all the details will be in the description box below All right, let's get into our gluten-free buns for dinner. I added 200 grams of extra firm silken tofu with some soy milk as my wet ingredients and I blended that and I kept that aside. And then for dry ingredients, we're going to use lupini flour. I found this on Amazon. It was pretty expensive, but then later on when I went to Bulk Barn, I noticed they had cheaper version so use lupini flour from bulk barn lupini flour tends to be a little bit bitter so to offset that we're going to have to add some sugar to this dough and then i'm going to add some psyllium husk and then we are going to add yeast i'm adding about one and a half teaspoon of yeast with some brown sugar to activate the yeast and of course you want to use lukewarm water and you're going to mix that and leave it on the side for yeast to activate and bubble up. For better outcome, feel free to use white sugar, but I used brown sugar just to keep things a little bit healthier, so it's up to you. So you're going to mix that and keep that aside, and then we're going to now add our dry ingredients. So I am using various blends of flours here. They're all gluten-free. To make it high protein, I used lupini flour, then I used some oat flour, rice flour and then we're going to add psyllium husk in there and then we're going to add some nutritional yeast to boost up the protein i kept it pretty simple i only added salt and to offset the bitterness of lupini flour i added only about one tablespoon of brown sugar i think you can easily add two tablespoon because it was still a little bit bitter i will leave that up to you guys and to bind everything together i added some mashed potato this was really the key here otherwise i couldn't get these buns to stick and come together then i added all the wet ingredients and then you're going to mix everything nicely and you're going to let this dough sit on the countertop for about five to six minutes before you form them into uh, buns and then once you form them into buns you're going to lay them on a parchment paper one by one and then you're going to stick the dough in warm oven and let it sit in there for about 60 minutes to 90 minutes it's up to you the dough is not going to rise as much but it does have a bit of rise um, just because these buns are gluten-free you're not going to get much rise out of these buns and once that's done then you're going to bake them in the oven at 350 degree fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes once you take them out of the oven you have to let them cool completely before you cut them and enjoy them i find they taste the best once you toast them so once you cut the buns in half Make sure you toast it really nicely and then add your favorite toppings and enjoy. You can store the leftovers in the fridge to be used throughout the week. This recipe makes six servings and these buns can stay in the fridge for up to five days. While the buns are baking, we're going to prep our protein. So I'm going to be using extra firm tofu and I'm going to air fry it with some barbecue sauce and some other seasoning. And then I'm going to score each piece um, diagonally so that it can absorb the sauce really nicely. I will leave all the details in the description box below. I just wanted to show you that this is one of the ways you can incorporate these buns by showing you that you can add some tofu patties in 
there. Of course, you can add anything else your heart desires on these buns. You can add hummus. You can try my edamame and uh, green peas hummus. That goes really nice as well. Or you can add um, peanut butter and jelly. Options are endless, but this is the way I did it. So I hope this gives you some idea as to how you can incorporate these buns into your meals. I will leave all the details in the description box below. Let me know if you guys will be trying out this meal or these buns. To summarize, this full day of eating had approximately 1,573 calories and approximately 124 grams of protein. All the macronutrients were met for the day. I supplement with vitamin D, multivitamin, and creatine. There you go, guys. This is the end of today's video. I hope all the meals that I've shared here today gave you some meal inspo as to what you can eat as a high-protein, plant-based vegan. If you guys would like me to come up with any other recipes, let me know in the comments below and I will try my best to include them on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you guys very soon on my next one. Bye.